back to me doing a reaction thing to Arcane uh, League of Legends. This episode two is titled uh, "There Are Things Better Left Unsolved." Uh, wait, off. some mysteries are better left unsolved. I was trying to remember it without actually looking. Anyway, whatever. It's episode two, man. For starters, uh, thank you, peoples of the world, for liking the video, commenting, and doing all that cool stuff. I appreciate that. And secondly, I guess. Uh, man, uh, I feel like I'm gonna sound redundant for every video because I'm gonna praise how beautiful uh, this show looks and acts and the cinematography and the voice acting and the musical score and the whatevers. Fan freaking tastic. I, I, I'm just at on. I mean, I don't even know who to like think here whether it was the production company whether it was uh, riot games themselves you know hey uh, this company makes a hell of a lot of money so i'm glad that they're taking their franchise extremely serious i'm not to say that other franchise of uh, franchisees don't but man there's just a lot of care and there's a lot of love here when a company does this for their show it, it, it gives me the audience it gives me a, a, a very uh, appreciation to the franchise especially a franchise that i'm not much familiar with so it totally hyped me up to want to check out the game and whatever else this company ever does in, in the near future so count me as a fan anyway back to the story cool so far we're just been following two sisters of uh, v and powder uh there's a villain named deckard and he's sort of like make, making experiments on mice these two orphan girls live underground of the world pretty much uh underground the wealthy uh they have this like kind of like surrogate father and vander shenanigans happen where v and, and powder have stole um some items of sorts for someone it doesn't really matter what the, it was but what matters is that you know those rich and wealthy people are like yo that shit should not happen again so they're kind of like pushing a, a a narrative of hey we name names we want to know who did it you know so they, they're quick to want to prosecute so the problem is more of the catalyst of your own actions and how far uh, those actions will affect the people around you. So, uh, again, extremely captivating. So let's see how those actions play uh, in today's episode. Or like, what role will they play? So, all right, without further ado, let's do it, baby. Let's do the reaction. All right, here we go. Oh, so yeah, we just follow. We're following this kid named Chase. Hey, let's go. Be careful with that, please. I believe someone. That's a really nice flashback. What happened to you? Spinal trouble? No, nothing. Sleep didn't get better when you woke up. Touche. And how come he had that shimmer thing? Oh, you getting arrested. Yo, talk about, like, terrible irony. If, if it wasn't for those kids stealing whatever he had, he wouldn't be in this position. Be it that he, uh... What the hell is that thing? It's like a Super Saiyan gremlin. The professor. Wow, he's so rude, man. Wow, and she didn't even. He didn't even miss a shot. Maybe next time they shouldn't bring your ass. Oh, to the brig. Oh! <laughs> Search them, wow.
Really? Really, my boy? You know, I think it was a mistake carrying those things with you. Ah, he almost blew up our daughter. I love it. Yeah, um, I'm with the underground here. Like, yo, hold up. Uh, I see what he see what he did there. We crossed that bridge. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, I'm telling you, she looks like the chick from Madagascar. Oh my god. Like her twin sister. <laughs> you kiss ass. Yeah, I love her design. She is very pretty. Oh, he came out with it. Went against the little gremlin. I was about to say, what do you know? I seized this power in the wrong hands. Yes, indeed. His entire life was shaped by impossible dreams. What he did was. Oh, is he about to, like, escape? This could be life. He was trying to make me suffer. A crime like this can't be overlooked. A boy must be punished. A violation of the ethos calls for action. But I can sympathize with a young man's dream to change the world. Perhaps in this matter, a lesser pedant makes puppets. I move that Jason be summarily expelled from the academy and remanded to the care of. Oh, he's being expelled. <laughs> you may take your son home, Max. He is never to set foot on Academy grounds again. Yo, you just made a villain. This is the origin of a villain who's being outcast and, and lambasted for his ideals. And mind you, not necessarily bad ideals. Because he's kinda young. It's interesting. Duly noted. Jace the villain, huh? What the hell is that guy? Oh, is that... Is that Deckard? He had glowy eyes? I don't remember. Jeez. <laughs> Interesting. Yo, he ain't destroying his nodes, bro. <gasps> Gasp! I knew it, bro! I knew it, bro! Yes, that is very true. Oh... Talk about the peer pressure, bro. Talk about the peer pressure. Welcome to the last stop. Wow, so they've been pressured to be even harder now.
Uh, she is a jinx. But she is kind of tiny, though. Wow. Wow. But eventually, there's just going to be another revolt. Wow, so he brought her to the bridge. Damn, wait, my boy, my boy, dude, are you, you're about to jump? Bro, bro, what are you doing? What the fuck is he doing? Oh, we got a partnership. Let's go find the magic. Oh, that's so cute. Uh oh. Maybe some help. What did they get? Wait, don't tell me, did she sell herself in? Or did she want to fight him? Wow, um, much, way different episode than, than the first one. Uh, I feel like the first episode was very, you know, V and powder centric, and it, you just kind of got that perspective through and through. But in the second episode, we got an all star of like, look at this character, look at that guy, and look at it, you know? Uh, a lots, a lots of new characters to uh, that have been introduced. Um, I'm sure a lot of characters that are like um, important to the lore of League of Legends, but because I've never really played that game or know enough about it, I don't know any of these people's. But it's fine, you know. Some of them are pretty straightforward. Uh, for example, uh, he Heim Heimerdinger. I mean, Dinger. I love that name. I feel like I'm saying it wrong, but I like saying Dinger, you know? Don't judge me. The little Super Saiyan Gremlin, he's pretty cool. Um, I like how he's so aback about magic and how he feels like, yo, it's magic is dangerous, bro. I don't care what you think it can do. No, fuck all that shit. He, he, he experienced 
a moment in time where like magic ain't the best um but we were introduced to this new character of jace who is the creator of that little shimmer stones that um that powder stole you know so I, I love how we're getting this sort of elegance this this collision of uh, this crash of characters because we follow me and powder but now we're also following the perspective of wait who made those stones and what that what is that all about they got this cool character development for jace uh who was this you know child and one day he got saved by someone with magic and he got like teleported and stuff so he's been ever so fascinated with the idea that magic can be uh used for the good of humanity you know but there's a stigma with magic in this world where it's like, no, the last time we came across someone with good magic or decent magic, should I say, uh, they didn't do it for good. So I can understand that animosity because it's almost like magic in this world is more used as uh, weaponized, it's more uh, meant for destruction than good. So I can understand the reservation of like, no, no, nope, nope, we ain't doing that shit. So whatever research you think you're doing, it is more uh, put on the side of a terrorist mentality uh, than anything. I mean, mind you, look look how it, it did. Anyway, just a little shimmer stone exploded a whole building. So if this is if this kid just has theories and ideas. Um, look what just a theory did it could it could have actually hurt someone but yeah just like hem hammer dinger you know uh we met a lot of those professors in that academy uh some of them were really uh, had cool designs there was one of the, the academy professors that i'm totally simping for i don't know her name but eventually maybe i will but i feel like the biggest thing of all for today's episode is uh, how the enforcers uh, have been uh, pushing the people saw on uh, or the underground whatever right like how hey uh, who stole these things someone must know come on say the names and um, it seems like V is either one taking responsibility for what her sister did or then again it's what they all did anyway right or two She's just so tired of hiding and keeping quiet that she's like, fuck it, let's go. Let's have a fair one. She wants to fight the enforcers, you know? I don't know. Uh, another cool thing that happened in today's episode is uh, Deckard uh, did infect that boy with whatever weird serum he had. Like, yo, I called it. That was so obvious. I knew that was going to happen. So I wonder how that's going to come into play. I notice how this show is divided into three arcs. Uh, the third episode is the last episode of the first arc, um, or arc or act, I guess. Uh, I'm not really sure how to look at it. Um, it's almost like there's three separate movies here. You know what? I almost feel like viewing this show like that, like like that, where like. Um, Maybe that's how it was, but then they just slowly made it episodically. Where, like, if three episodes contain one act, that, that just feels like these are just three separate movies. But that's fine. I'm excited for the next episode, and then I'm more excited to what's going to happen in episode four. Are we going to, like, uh, go back in time, go further in time? What other characters are we going to follow? Are we still going to follow the same characters? Uh, again, I'm super in... This show is exciting, it's beautiful to look at, and yeah. <laughs> All right, that about does it for my video. Thank you so much for watching. Leave me any feedback in that comment section. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and God bless you. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.